This video tutorial will show you how to use the References section of Microsoft Office Word, which is an especially useful tool for scientists. In the tutorial, we will show you how to add a reference, change the number format of the references, insert a cross-reference, how the numbers update when you add or delete a reference, and also how to change the style of the reference section and numbers. We will use Anderson's The Ugly Duckling as our sample document. To insert your first reference, click on the References tab at the top of the screen. Then, scroll to the location in the document in which you'd like to insert a reference, click, and then return to the top of the page and press the Insert and Note button. A section will appear at the bottom of the document in which you can type the corresponding reference. When you click on the number corresponding to any reference in the EndNote section, you will return to the location in the text in which the reference was made. If you hover your cursor over any number in the text, it will show you the reference to which it refers. You may have noticed that the reference we added was numbered in Roman numerals. To change this and other reference settings, click on the small arrow located in the bottom corner of the footnotes section. A window will appear in which you can select the desired number format and then press apply. As you can see, the format of the number has changed. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to insert a second reference. To do so, scroll to the location in the document in which you'd like to insert the reference, click, and then once again click on the Insert EndNote button at the top of the page. Again, type in the reference at the bottom of the page. Notice that this second reference is labeled as number 2. Now I'll show you what happens when you insert a reference in front of the two that have already been added. As usual, click where you'd like to add the reference, press Insert and Note, and then type in the reference at the bottom of the page. Note that this new reference is number 1, and the previous two references have renumbered themselves to 2 and 3. Now let's imagine you have a reference you'd like to refer to more than once. That is, you'd like to insert a cross-reference. After you've already added the reference once, the next time you'd like to refer to it, click, and then click the Insert Cross-Reference button at the top of the page. A window appears that allows you to select the item you'd like to cross-reference. Select a reference type of EndNote and insert reference to EndNote number formatted from the drop-down menus. Select the desired reference from the list, press the Insert button, and then press the Close button. Now I'm going to insert a fourth reference in front of those already present. Once more, click and press the Insert EndNote button and then type in the corresponding reference. Although the reference list updates automatically, the cross-reference does not update. In order to update the cross-reference, you must highlight it, right-click, and press the Update Field button. Another way to do this, if I quickly undo what I just did, would be to highlight the entire text and press F9. If there were multiple cross-references present, this would update all of them at once. Now I'll show you what happens to the other references on the page and to the cross-reference if you delete a reference. Notice that the reference list at the bottom of the page has updated automatically to exclude the deleted reference. The cross-reference, however, doesn't update automatically. If we highlight it, right-click, and press Update Field, an error message appears. This error tells us that the original reference is no longer in the document. If we still require a reference there, we'll have to add it in again from scratch. Usually, people have some preference on how the reference section should be styled, so I'll show you a few different ways that you can change this. In order to change or remove the line separating the endnotes at the bottom of the page, Go to the View tab at the top of the page and make sure you're in Draft View. Then, return to the Reference tab and under Footnotes, select Show Notes. From the drop-down menu, choose EndNote Separator. You may then add text, a clipart separator, or delete the line altogether. Now for you to turn to the regular viewing style by clicking on the View tab and then returning to Print Layout, we can note that the line has disappeared. 
Another thing that can be changed is the style of the numbers used in the reference section. To change these, begin by clicking on the Home tab at the top of the screen. Then, go over to the Styles section and click on the small arrow in the bottom corner of this section. The Styles window has been opened. Select EndNote Reference from the list, then click Modify. The window that appears allows you to modify the numbers used in the EndNote Reference section. Let's say we'd like to remove the superscript. Click on Format, then Font, and then uncheck the box labeled Superscript. We could also have changed other parts of the font, such as its type, style, and size. Press OK to exit both windows, and note that our numbers are no longer in superscript form. Now, let's say we'd like to put square brackets around all of our references. To do this, go to the Editing section and select Replace. From the window that appears, press the More button to expand the entire window. Then select Format, and from that menu select Style. From there, find EndNote Reference on the list and press OK. You can immediately see by looking next to Format that we're editing the style of the EndNote Reference. In the Replace With section, type the following. Microsoft Office will then tell you how many changes it has made in the document. Press OK and then Close to exit these windows. Note now that all of the references in the list at the end of the document and also in the text have been changed to be surrounded by square brackets. One thing to note though is to only change the style of the numbers once you're done working with the document. If you add another reference and try to add square brackets around it, the current references would end up with two sets of square brackets. A final point I'd like to make is that although the reference section is useful for everyone, it's especially important for scientists. It's great for sharing manuscripts between collaborators, and the style of the document is not changed when it's shared, so you don't have to worry about third-party programs. We have now covered all of the topics that were mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, and you should be familiar with adding a reference, changing the number format, inserting a cross-reference, updating the references and cross-references, and also changing the style of the reference section and numbers. I'd like to thank you for your time, and I hope that this has helped you become familiar with the References section of Microsoft Office Word.